Hi, today is the 10th of August 2012, 7.30 p.m. at Pandit Deen Dayal Petroleum University campus. This is uh, Siddharth. Uh, Siddharth, you want to introduce yourself? Hey, I'm Siddharth. And I'm, today I'm... What's your last name, Siddharth? Siddharth Machana. <laughs> uh, where are you from? I'm from uh, Delhi and my college is Triple D and DNM Kanjipur. Okay. Uh, but Siddharth has been working uh, over the summer of 2012 with uh, the Gujarat Energy Research and Management Institute uh, and uh, this is a concept that uh, he has uh, developed a prototype. So Siddharth, can you tell us about uh, the prototype, what uh, this is? This is a compressed air energy generation system. So here it, what we are trying to do is what we are trying to generate electricity using the compressed air. Okay. Actually, uh, this is the generator. Here, I'll show you the construction first. This is the wall. This is the cylinder for the piston. The piston is inside, so you can't see it actually. This is the outer covering. That that piston, uh, the wall looks like very much like an engine uh, cylinder. This one. Yes. This is a compressor cylinder. Okay, got the cylinder compressor. that that is used in the compressor. Okay. And I've taken it directly and used it here. Okay. And this is a solenoidal wall with a timer. Okay. And so it can turn the uh, flow of compressed air inside on and off. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And within this uh, outer covering, I have a copper winding wounded coil. It is a circular coil and this is the shaft uh, which is protruding out. Uh, on this shaft, the uh, uh, circular magnet is fixed. So the magnet will move to and fro within the coil and According to Faraday's law, wherever there is change in magnetic flux, we get voltage. Okay, so I see some magnets over here. Yeah. So these are the type of magnets you yeah. have used inside? Yeah, these are the type of magnets used. These are rare earth magnets. Okay. And each magnet has a power of 5000 Gauss. 5000 Gauss. Okay. And I also see uh, at the back there is a bobbin. Yeah. Okay, can you show? There is a similar bobbin inside, right? Yeah. This is the coil that I was talking about. This is the bobbin and here the copper windings are there. Okay, so the bobbin, there is a similar bobbin inside. Yeah. yeah. Inside this cylinder. Exactly. And uh, a magnet is actually mounted on the shaft. Yeah. And so the shaft is going to move and because of the compressed air. And it will retrace its uh, position, it will go back to its uh, original position with the help of a spring. So there is a compressed air on one side and then there is spring, spring pushing from the other side. Yes. And the spring is fixed to the roof of the cylinder. Okay. So then uh, we use a combination of uh, compressed air and the, the spring, spring force yeah. to move uh, the shaft back and forth. Yes sir. So the magnet uh, moves back and forth. Yes, exactly. Uh, through uh, this bobbin yes. and we generate electricity. Yes. Okay. Can we uh, do a demo? So what we have here is, where is the compressed air coming from? Compressed air is coming from this compressor. Okay, so you have a compressor here which is supplying the compressed air. And the maximum pressure this thing can supply is 10 bar. 10 bar is the maximum. What is the maximum you are using in your uh, experiment? Exactly, 10 bar. 10 bar you are using. Okay. And then basically the bobbin uh, or the coil. These are the coil wires that actually come out, mm. right? These are come out and they're actually going to your multimeter. Uh, multimeter. So that will show us a voltage. Yes. So we know it's going to generate electricity. Okay, can you uh, turn it on? Can you turn off uh, the compressed air? Excellent. So you have uh, demonstrated using compressed air and spring, you are able to generate electricity. Uh, can we do that once again? Just to show that it's uh, repeatable. So the air is turned on.
Okay. Turn it off, turn it off. A lot of air. Okay, is it still going to make that noise? Okay. So with this, we are actually. I think this is the first time we are proving a concept concept where uh, through a combination of compressed air. Uh, we are storing energy into a spring and actually using that energy of the spring to generate electricity. Okay, thank you very much, Siddharth. Is there anything else? No. Okay, thank you.